To find the oxidation number on the lead in lead 4 sulfate, PbSO4-2, we'll use these rules. First off, there's no negative or positive sign after the PbSO4-2. That means it's a neutral compound. All the oxidation numbers, they're going to add up to zero. When we look at this lead, that's a transition metal. We really can't tell its oxidation state just looking at it. We have to look at what it's bonded to. In this case, this sulfate ion, SO4, this is a good one to memorize. The charge on the sulfate ion, the ionic charge on the sulfate ion is 2 minus. So when we have an ion, all the oxidation numbers, they have to add up to the charge on the ion. So the oxidation numbers on the four oxygens and the sulfur, you add those all up, you'll get this 2 minus, or a negative 2 oxidation number. Since we have two of these, that gives us a minus 4. So in order for this all to add up to zero, the lead, that has to be a positive 4. So we have 2 times the minus 2, that's the minus 4, plus 4, it all adds up to zero. If you need help finding the oxidation number for the sulfur here in this sulfate ion, there's a link in the description to help you with that. This is Dr. B with the oxidation number for the lead in lead 4 sulfate, PbSO4-2. Thanks for watching.